Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodělky. Uh, I haven't published any videos for quite some time because life happens and I had to go and um, tend to my family and, uh, you know, just uh, do what uh, I had to go and do. Uh, and there was really not much time to go and uh, make more videos. But um, things are coming down a little bit and I will be starting to work on more videos again. And in today's video, actually, I will be teaching you how to knit a sock with a flap and turning heel and a gusset. All right. Actually, I made this video a year ago. Can you imagine a year ago, but I just did not have time to go and edit it. So I finally sat down, edited the video. Well, if you would like to go and uh, knit sock with me, along with me, um, here is your chance. So enjoy. I have cast it on 48 stitches and now I will knit uh, this way, two knit and two purl and I will repeat it all the way to the end, okay? So this is one and two, two knits and now two purl stitches and then I will repeat it, okay, and two purl. And two knit one and two and two purl okay all the way to the end and one more time in english style two knit one and two and two purl so this is one purl a little bit tighter. Okay, and one more purl, and then two knit and two purl again. I'm finished with my first row of ribbing, and I will transfer all these stitches onto four. DPNs, short DPNs. And you can do it on circular needles and use magic circle if you want to, okay? I will put 12 stitches on each needle. So I have it uh, all transferred, making sure I'm not twisting my stitches, okay? And now I will join it into a circle. Okay, actually, it has to be this way here. I always uh, use a, a little stitch underneath a name. I just um, knit. I just knit these two together, first one and that added on stitch. Okay. And now I don't have my fifth needle, so I'm using a different color. It's a little longer too, but that's okay. Just in case you're wondering. Okay, so this is my first stitch and I will just continue doing my ribbing. So that's second, two knit and two purl, okay? Two purl. And I will make as many rows as I need to, which was um, uh, 20 rows, okay? And then I will knit another eight rows of uh, just knit stitches. So now I'm doing ribbing and then eight rows of um, stockinette stitch. When I am finished with my ribbing and plus my stockinette stitch, eight rows of the stockinette stitch, um, I will show you how I will be knitting a flap for my heel. Uh, since heel flap is usually worked on half of the stitches, uh, which over here is 48, divided by 2 is 24, so I will be working on 24 stitches on these two needles. The only thing is that I will want to move all these stitches 
onto one needle. And if you have, if you are working actually on uh, on circular needles, you will want to put markers uh, after these 24 stitches. So you would go and have a marker here in the beginning and a marker right in here, okay? Very good. So now the um, I like to really reinforce my heel flap and the way I do it is you see this is uh, this is a mark of my uh, last row that I did uh, over here these few rows and you can again do as many rows over here as you want all right it doesn't matter how many rows you do I did eight rows anyway so uh, the heel flap is going to be knitted this way I will knit first stitch and then I will uh, slip this stitch, okay? I will knit the stitch and slip the stitch, which means I don't knit it. Knit it, slip it, purl-wise. I forgot to mention, slip it purl-wise. Knit it, slip it, okay? And actually, you might have to go and say to yourself what you're doing because sometimes I make mistake and I have to rip my uh, rip, rip uh, my uh, what did I do? Okay, uh, my rows sometimes. You see, I'm already messing up. No, I'm not. Okay, so I slip this one and I need to knit this one and slip this one and knit. And slip pearlwise and knit. Slip pearlwise and knit. And whilst we are getting to the end, you are going to go and see. I slip this one. I should knit this one, okay, which I did, and I should slip this one. But because I don't have odd number of stitches to end up with the knitted stitch at the end, I will have two knitted stitches over here, okay? So that's first row. Now the second row is going to be purled, every single stitch, even the ones that we slipped, okay? So we need to purl this one, okay? And purl the slipped stitch. And purl this one, the knitted one, no, this one we slipped. This one was knitted, so we will purl it. And we purl the slipped stitch, okay? And continue like that all the way to the end. Purl every single stitch. Now, let me show you how to do it in a, uh, English style. So again, we will knit first stitch. We will repeat the same uh, row, row one, okay, uh, like we, like I showed you in continental style. So we knitted first stitch and we slip the next stitch. Now we will knit this stitch. And uh, since we knitted this stitch, we need to slip this stitch. Slip and knit, slip and knit last two stitches, knit and knit because we want last stitch knitted, okay? Now we need to purl entire row, just purl all of your stitches in this row. And you will repeat these these two rows. Um, how many more times? Let me see. Ten more times. So in uh, other words, this is my fourth row. And we need, after this row, we need uh, 20 more rows. At least I do. If you start on different number of stitches, then you need to, uh, you need to uh, adjust your... Um, number of rows as well here okay okay i have eight rows so far 
and I wanted to show you how it looks, okay? So when you uh, knit a stitch, it is going to be kind of indented, okay? In the slipped stitches should be raised up, okay? And this is how it looks on the back. You have always that um, the little line in here in between the stitches. So this, this is where the slipped stitch is, right behind this yarn. And this is the uh, stitch that is always knitted, okay? Just to show you what it really is all about. And actually these, uh, um, you know, this makes it kind of more reinforced, reinforce. it feels thicker. I kind of like this type of heel for my socks if I'm uh, not working my socks with the short uh, rows, okay? I will continue now uh, with these 24 stitches, you know, and making this flap a little longer and I will have total of 24 rows and then I will go and show you how to do the gusset. All right, so I'm finished with my flap and like I said, I will knit 24 rows, I did so, okay? And actually, as you see these raised up ridges, you should have 12 of them if you are knitting the same sock as I do. However, if you started on uh, more stitches than 48, then you will need the flap to be wider, okay? And also you will need to have it a little longer because the foot is bigger. Uh, and right now we will start working on the heel. And uh, they call it turning the heel, which means that we need to turn it this way, okay? We need to, this is a dog hair over here, <laughs> my dog's hair. Um, so we just need to make it that it goes and turns into a sole over here. I am making French, so-called French heel. First, we will need to knit past our half, okay? And we'll be going back and forth and then decreasing, which is going to go and make that heel turn. So first, what we need to do is slip the stitch, okay? And again, pearl-wise, I slip pearl-wise. Then we need to knit 13 stitches, okay? So I will knit 13 stitches. And of course that I'm knitting continental style, but you can do it English style. So you would go and knit this way, right? 13 stitches, okay? You will go and do it this way. So it really doesn't matter, you know, how I am showing it to you in the video. You just would go and do it your way, okay? So let me go and see. So we did slip, and then we need to have 13 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. That's 13, okay? Now what we need to do is slip, slip, and knit, which is decrease. So we will slip, slip, put it back on uh, like, you know, this way, okay? And then you knit it. And you basically created a leaning in that direction, uh, a leaning stitch, okay? And we need to knit one more after this decrease, okay? And uh, we are basically done for now with this row. We will turn and work on the wrong side. And again, we will slip pearl-wise. Now we need to purl five stitches. So we will purl one, two, three, four, five, okay. We will purl two together, purl two together, 
Okay. Now we will purl one more. So we basically decreased again. We will purl one more. Okay. And we're done with this row, with purl row. Okay. Now we will turn again. And we will, so when we were purling here five, on the wrong side, five. Now we will do knit six. But again, we will first slip the stitch. We will knit six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look what is going to happen now, okay? I will show you. You see kind of like a gap in here, right? So you always, when you're going back and forth, working, you will always come back from now on to a gap and you will have to go and slip this stitch, slip this stitch, close the gap by slipping it, okay, and knitting it together. So we will slip this stitch, slip this stitch, and as you see, I'm going from the knit, knit size, right? And now we will go and put them to, uh, put them back on the needle and we will knit them. Okay? And we need to knit one more. After the after the decrease, we always need to knit one more on the knit side, knit side, okay? Now, so we did 5 here, 6 here, 6 stitches. Now we will go and purl seven stitches. So it's always five, six, seven. No, sorry. It was here. <laughs> um, I'm messing it up over here. Five, six, seven. Okay. So we will go and, and then it's going to be eight, nine. Okay. So now we will again slip this stitch. And actually, let me go and show it to you in uh, English style. Okay, so we already slipped our stitch and now we need to purl seven stitches, right? So we will purl seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. And look what is happening again. When we go, we come here and you have that big gap between these two stitches. So again, we need to go and purl these two stitches to close the gap, okay? So we will go and purl these two stitches because we're purling on the uh, on the on this side, okay? We'll purl and we will purl one more after the decrease. Purl one more after the decrease. Okay, now we will turn again and I will continue in our English style. Okay, and we're supposed to, now we're going to be with the yarn in the back, right? Knitting. So we will slip the stitch and because we did seven on this side, we have to do eight on this, this side. We, we have to knit eight stitches over here after we slipped one stitch. So we will knit eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Okay, and look at that. We are back at that gap, right? So we have to go and slip knitwise, slip knitwise, put it back on just like that, okay, and knit. And we have slanted, slanted um, 
stitch in that direction. And by purling it on the other side, we have it slanted in this direction, okay? So now we still have to knit one more stitch. Need to knit one more stitch. Now we will turn. And since we did eight stitches here, we have to do nine stitches over here, okay? And let me go and continue my style. All right, so I will continue working on my um, on my heel, okay? And I will speed this up, but you just continue like this until you have no more stitches left, okay? Until you decrease and you have no more stitches left because as you noticed, you're having less and less stitches that you're not working here after you turn your uh, uh, sock always, okay? To, you know, to start new row. Okay, look at this. So I, I am finished here and I have a gap, but I don't have an extra stitch over there to knit after this one. So what I will just do is I will again do my decrease, slip and slip, slip and slip, okay, and a knit. And since I don't have any more uh, stitches to knit after the decrease, I will just turn it around, okay. I will slip this and I will purl to my uh, last two stitches and I will purl those two stitches. Okay, these are two my last two stitches with the gap and I will just purl them. Okay, okay, now, and I should have 14 stitches in here like I had before. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and four stitches in here, so 14 stitches. So I did everything right, and my, my sock is exactly like the other one, okay? Now what we need to do is start working on the gusset, and we will be picking up stitches in here, so we will knit 14 stitches here, but I will actually slip first stitch and then knit 13, okay? I will just do it like I always did before with the first uh, stitch uh, slipped, okay? So we will knit all the way to the end of the row, and if you're knitting English, you do it your English style, okay? Okay, and we will knit this one as well. And now we will pick up stitches. When I was working on my previous uh, sock, where is it? Over here. You see, I picked up stitches along this uh, row. Because I've been slipping in here, the every other stitch on my flap, it kind of shrunk it down. I picked up every other, the long ones, <clears throat> Excuse me. I picked up the long ones, the short ones here, those little knots I didn't pick up. So I would go and pick up each of these long uh, uh, stitches or, you know, the, the yarn strings, loops uh, on the side, okay? Not the knot, but the long one. Okay, and uh, I picked up 15 of them or 14 of them. I have to go and look up. I, I wrote it down. So I will go and pick up my stitches here. Just like this, okay? 
and this is the short one, the, 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 the knot, so I will go over here and pick up over here. And again, skip the knot and I will go to the long one and pick it up, pull it through the loop, knot, and this is my long one, knot, long one, knot, long one, knot, long one here. Okay, and continue like this to the end. Uh, <laughs> this stitch is really long because I was doing the English style right here. So let me see, probably I should go into the into the knot instead. So it doesn't it doesn't make a hole in there. Okay. Okay, and one more here. And let me see, let me count. Because this is how I did it before. Let me count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen. Yes, I had fourteen. Okay, now we will we will knit um these stitches and these are actually the top stitches okay these are top stitches so we will knit these oh let me go and actually move them let me move them onto one needle so now we will actually have um we will work with four four needles and we will knit with the fifth one when we're working, okay? And actually, if you are knitting on circular needles, you need to put a marker here, okay? Marker here, marker here, and then marker right there, okay? So now that we picked up stitches along this side, so here we will go and knit 24 stitches. And now that I'm finished with knitting 24 stitches right in here, I have to do exactly the same thing on this side like I did over here. That means I have to pick up 14 stitches, which means that I have to pick up 14 stitches along this side like I picked up 14 stitches along this side. So let's go and start over here. And we don't want a big hole in there, so let me see how I want. Do I want it like this? Or I could go... Uh, sometimes you kind of, kind of have to figure out how you want to make sure that there is no big hole right there. This is kind of tight stitch, so I'll go through these two stitches like that. And that will, that will help not to have a big hole there. Okay, good. Sorry, it probably was out of uh, focus for a second. Now this is the long one, so I'll go here. And a long one. And the long one. You see I'm skipping all my knots, because that's what I did with the, uh, with the sock before. So I picked up 14 stitches, not 15. And I will tell you what is going to be happening now. I kind of will describe it so you understand it a little bit. Here, let me count my stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I need two more. So here is one. And I will go and make one more right here. Okay. I probably, oops. 
I probably went a little bit too far from here, but that's okay. I made up that one extra one in there. Okay. So now what we what we will be doing is, as you go and look at this sock, we will have to be decreasing stitches in this corner and we will have to be decreasing stitches in this corner. Okay. And you know, we need to go and decrease as many stitches in here and as many stitches in here. So these stitches that are not going to be decreased and these stitches will create 48 stitches again. Okay. So now this will be our starting point. Okay. And I need to go and actually put a, I can go and take this one already. Uh, I can put my marker right here. That, that, that was my last row and I will be starting new row. So after this row, I will count all my rows uh, for my uh, decreases and, and rows for my foot that I will be building up over here. Okay. So basically what I will do is I will knit all these stitches all the way to my last two stitches, these two stitches. So up to here, I will knit and then I will decrease. Okay. Then I will knit all these stitches and I will decrease the first stitches on this needle and then knit all these stitches. Okay. So that's what is going to be happening. And that will be basically my one row. Okay. So knit these stitches, knit these stitches, decrease, knit these stitches, decrease, knit these stitches, and we're finished with one row. Okay. And we will be decreasing uh, differently on each corner. Okay, so let me go and knit to those two stitches like I pointed before to the first two stitches. And you can go and knit your English style, okay? These are just knit stitches, so you do it your way. If you're knitting continental, knit continental. If you're knitting English, you knit your stitches in English style. Okay, so I'm here in my corner, first corner. And I will knit these two stitches together. Okay, knit two stitches together. So that's our first decrease. Now I will knit 24 stitches right here. In this corner, we will slip, slip and knit these first two stitches. Slip, slip, of course, knit twice, you slip knit twice, and then we will knit these two together. Okay, and we will finish knitting the row, just knit stitches all the way to the beginning of the row. Now, second row, we will knit all the stitches, okay? We will not do any decrease. In other words, we will be de doing these decreases every other row, okay? So we will knit entire row. Knit all the stitches. All right, this is my third row. And I will try to show it to you again in English style. All right, so we will again knit all the way to that those two stitches in this corner right here. Okay, and we will knit them together. Okay. 
You see, when I'm doing a continental style, I just grab the yarn. But with this, we just wrap it around. It comes out exactly the same. Instead of grabbing it with my needle, I am wrapping the yarn around the needle. Okay, and we will, we will knit these two together. Okay, and we will continue knitting over here and here we will do slip slip knit. Okay, now over here we need to slip knitwise, slip knitwise, and then knit. Okay. And continue knitting all the way to the beginning of the row. And then we will knit again entire row. Okay, you see, we are decreasing right here. Okay, and we are decreasing right here. All right, so basically I will do exactly the same thing over and over again. So now I'm here at the beginning of my row. Okay, right here, I will knit uh, next row and then again, I will decrease by knitting these two together. I will decrease by doing slip slip knit. Okay. And again, uh, knit entire row. And I will continue like that until I will have five stitches left over here. Okay. So all these stitches need to be decreased and all these stitches need to be decreased again when I have five stitches left on this side right here which is going to be 5 plus 5 plus 14 is 24 plus 24 is 48 and I will just knit straight out 48 stitches straight out for my foot. Let me show it over here for you, okay? So this was my heel, right? This is my decreases and here I had those five stitches added to my heel, okay? So five stitches here, 14 here, five stitches here, 24 stitches here, and then I just will go and knit the desired length before I start decreasing for my toe. Okay, so from around here, I will just knit 48 stitches until my decreases in here. I am finished with my desired number of rows and I'm ready to uh, start decreasing for my toes. Uh, I made one video where, it's, uh, where I'm showing how to do the sock with the short rows, okay, over here on for the heel. Um, so over there you can go and see how to decrease for the tip and also how to do the Kitchener stitch. And so I'm not really going to go into a great detail about uh, decreasing for the tip in this video, okay? But I'll just show it to you how I've been doing it uh, with th these socks. With these socks, I knitted one stitch first, okay? And then I did the decrease. And the crease goes like this. You go and do 
knit two together over here and then you knit all the way all the way to the to this end okay because we are we are decreasing here and we're decreasing here and it has to be flat like this okay make sure that you don't decrease this way over here and then over here okay because that would be wrong okay so I will go and knit all the way um, to my other corner and actually I will leave three stitches out okay three stitches right so on this corner I will on the first corner we do, we do knit two together on the second corner we do slip knit wise slip knit wise put the stitches back on purl wise and knit it okay through the back loop and then we still have that one stitch that we will knit and we will repeat this again on this needle. Again, in this corner, it's going to be knit two together. In this corner, it's going to be slip, slip, knit. Let me show it to you in English style. Okay, we will knit first stitch. And we will knit two together. Okay, knit two together. Now I will knit all the way to this corner right here, and that's where I will do slip, slip, and knit, and then knit one last stitch on the needle. Okay, so knit all the way to the, those three stitches at the end. We're here at the last three stitches, and again, we will slip knitwise, slip knitwise. Then we will knit through the back loop. Okay, you put those stitches back on that uh, needle, and you will knit through the back loop, and you will knit last stitch. So from now on, what you will do is that you will knit entire row, and then in the next row, you will knit two together, slip, slip, knit, knit two together, slip, slip, knit, then knit entire row. And again, knit two together, slip, slip, knit, knit two together, slip, slip, knit. Okay, and continue like that until you have about 10, 12 stitches, 8 stitches, depending how pointy your uh, tip you want okay and then you will go and finish socks with kitchener stitch so um, go and see my other video where i'm showing how to do the kitchener stitch so here we are finished with our sock where we started with norwegian style of cast on with the reinforced i showed you how to do reinforced flap i showed you how to do french heel over here okay uh, I started you uh, on um, uh, decreasing of your tip, but unfortunately you have to go and click on my other video to uh, see how to do the kitchener stitch, or you can find another video of somebody else's, okay? And um, I guess that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and I guess we will connect together another time.